reaction video time. Reaction video time. Where are you at? All right. All right. I'm not doing it long today because I'm a little emotional, y'all. I'm a little emotional. I just got done watching the last episode of the season finale, series finale of Game of Thrones, and I was a wreck. <sighs> Let's start at the beginning. Let's do We're going to do it with this. going to be spoilers in it if y'all don't want to hear it. But I got to talk these feelings out. Because it started kind of, I was like, is it going to be in the future or what? No. Started off right when they left off. The the places, the, the King's Landing all blew up with the fire from the dragons and Danny, And she had done, just destroyed everything. Here comes Arya out of the ashes. Jon Snow still in like a daze. Tyrion's upset. He goes and looks for Jamie and his sister, finds them. They're dead. Here comes Danny up on her dragon, and then she's going to give a little speech about, like, the war's not over. They're going to go kill more people or something. Like, that's what it made it seem. Tyrion's done listening to it, took off his hand thing, threw it. She locks him up. I'm like, what is going on? Is she really going to be the queen? Is she going to be, like, this mean ruler and stuff? I was getting nervous. And, I, and then I'm looking at Jon Snow. I'm like, Jon Snow, you got to do something about this. You're the only one that can do something about this. You got to do something about this, Jon Snow. He goes and vi d d goes and talks to Tyrion. And I'm like, Tyrion, get some sense into him. It seems like nothing's going to work. He done leaves where Tyrion is. It looks like them two. And then she, Danny's up there looking at the Iron Throne, like talking about when she, how her aspirations in this when she's a little girl and he's there with her. And you're like, what is going on? Now they're going to rule together? He's going to be next to her. He's giving her kisses. And then he stabs her. He done kill her. And then here comes the dragon. Here comes the dragon. And you're like, oh, that dragon's going to be mad. That dragon's going to be mad. And what it did, it didn't kill Jon Snow. I was like, oh, that's because maybe he knows. Maybe he knows Jon Snow's the, the real ruler of the, the the true king of the Targaryen. He smells the blood on him. No, he just burns up that Iron Throne. The dragon is smarter than anybody. He was like, he burned up that Iron Throne. I, Iron Thrones caused the death of, like, everything made her go crazy, like, just that symbolism right there. I was like, even the dragon knows. Drogo, Drogon was his name. I was like, even he knows that that Iron Throne is no good. No good. I started crying there. Then he takes her, flies off. Don't know where the dragon and, and Danny's body is. And then it goes blank and you're like, what's going on? And it goes to Tyrion. And then Tyrion gets brought out by the gray worms, right? The sullies. And it's everybody sitting out there. Except Jon Snow. Jon Snow's still locked up. But it's all the rulers of all the places. There's Sansa and Arya and Bran and and the other people from the Iron Gates. I don't know. You know who I'm talking about. The Dorn people. They're all there. And they're all like looking at Tyrion like, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Who's going to be? They're trying to think of like the the fate of the world. Even Sam, <laughs> Sam gets up talking about let, let the people vote for the next ruler and everybody starts laughing. <laughs> I was like, oh, Sam, that, they ain't ready for no democracy yet, Sam. They ain't ready for no democracy. <sighs> but when Tyrion starts talking, it all like hit me. It all hit me. He said, Bran should be... Uh, like the leader, the crippled boy that, what was he called? Brand the Broken, that's it. Brand the Broken, who survived this, who, who got the attack of this and went into there and all the crip. And and when he, when Tyrion looked at Brand and was like, you know, yeah, I know you don't want the, the throne, but will you take it anyway? And when Bran came, I, that's when I lost it, y'all. When Bran replied, he's like, why do you think I traveled all this way? Because he knew. He done knew. That's the future. I mean, he's going to be king. And I was like, 
brand's weird, <laughs> weird. But I was like, there is no better. There is no better person to be king, having him sit up on that throne. Just to, the, he's the one who wants just to do good in the world. He was the one, saw the ice people coming. He's like, we got to protect this world. He's like the protector, brand the broken, the protector. Oh my gosh, y'all. I lost it then. But then when Brian's going to return and say, I want you to be my hand to Tyrion. And Tyrion's like, I don't deserve it. I did this and I made bad decisions. And Brian's like, then you're going to spend your life repairing those things. I was just, oh. this is the Game of Thrones. You know, you never end on a happy note. But this is exactly what I wanted. I don't think you could have ended it better. Having Bran up on the throne. Oh, I should have had more Kleenex. <laughs> Having Bran up on the throne. They sent Jon Snow to the north, to the, the the iron, you know, what on the wall. Jon Snow is up on the wall. He's going to, I don't know what he's going to do. He's going to, he met his his wildling people. They going off into the wildling horizons. Then Arya... Then Arya's over here gonna explore Westeros. Seeing someone just what she wanted. God, well, just what she wanted. The, the North's gonna be free. She's gonna be the leader of the North and blah, 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 blah. <sighs> Y'all. I loved it. Y'all can't tell me. You, the writers, y'all wanna be mad. The writers of this and that and da, 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 da. I hate it. I. This, it was perfect. I thought this ending was perfect. I loved everything about it. I loved how they end, ended everything. And then it even gives you like, cause you know they're gonna have spinoffs of the show. So it even gives you like clues, I think. I think first, Arya exploring the West. That's gotta be a, a spinoff. Arya exploring, you don't know what the West is about. They're gonna come up with this whole new thing of the West. That's gotta be one of the spinoffs. Oh, and then Brianna, <gasps> when Brianna wrote about Jamie's ending and he died protecting his queen, there was just one other thing I just kept saying. I was like, she's going to write. I was like, she's got to be pregnant. She, because she done laid with Jamie. I was like, she's going to write the ending. And, and I, and Lady Brianna of Tar, whatever, you know what I'm talking about, is going to have his baby. I just kept waiting for it. I kept waiting for it. It didn't happen. But that don't mean nothing. They got spinoffs. Maybe it is a spinoff. She gonna be pregnant. I just know. I think one of them's gonna be Aria. The spinoff. Maybe one. Cause they made like the whole wildlings. Like they went off into the wildling world. Maybe Jon Snow's gonna have a spinoff. We're living in the wild with the wildlings. Cause they don't need no protectors of the of the walls or anything. They don't have any of those ice people anymore, do they? <sighs> I'm sad it's over, but I thought it ended perfect. I don't know about y'all, I loved it. All right, let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs. Until then, bye, Game of Thrones. You've been good to us all these years. You've been heart wrenching, but. We always loved you.